Hello, it's Precious Ray on Shiny Things, and today we're going to be talking about the Seated Liberty Half Dollar. Seated Liberty Half Dollars were minted from 1839 through 1891. It was designed by Christian Gobrecht. The Avos has Liberty seated on a rock holding a Liberty cap with a pole in her left hand, her right hand holding a shield inscribed Liberty, 13 stars surround the top border date on the bottom. The Avos has eagle perched on a olive branch holding three arrows with United States of America above and half doll dot below. There are six different types. Type 1, no J pre minted in 1839. Type 2, no moto, minted 1839-1866. through 1866. Type 3, arrows at date, minted 1853. Type 4, no moto, arrows at date, minted 1854-1855. through 1855. Type 5, with moto, minted 1866-1891. through 1891. And type 6, with moto, arrows at date, minted 1873-1874. through 1874. It contains 90% silver and 10% copper. How much is your seated liberty half dollar? Have to tell. Value depends on the date, condition, and mint mark. Dates and mint marks go hand in hand. The date is located in the front, while the mint is located in the back of the silver coins. There are four types of mint marks. Philadelphia mint mark, which has no mint mark. New Orleans, which has an O. San Francisco, which has an S. And Carson City, which has a CC. Rare dates in mint marks include 1870cc, 1871cc, 1872cc, 1874cc, and 1878s. Good, fine, extremely fine, about uncirculated, and mint states are the basic types of grades. The better the grade, the higher the price. This is a good example, a fine example, extremely fine example, about uncirculated example, and a mint state example. I have two coins that I will show now. Disclaimer, I am not a professional coin grader. I just put the coins where they're about being a 70 point grading system. If you would like a more in-depth video about it, I have put my video of it in the description below. I have two coins, I will show them now. The first coin I have is an 1855 minted in Pennsylvania in fine condition. I have put it in fine condition because it is extremely used, whereas even main design elements are clearly visible, rims are almost separated from the field. According to the USA coin book, this coin goes for $118. The next one I have is an 1854 minted in New Orleans in fine condition. I have put it in fine conditions for the same reasons as the last coin, and based on the USA coin book, this coin also goes for $118. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you learned something new, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!